I have as our first guests this evening, Mark and Georgie Marquezi. Now, they're a husband and a wife team. They run Arden Films and Video. Georgie has a master's degree in psychiatric art therapy, and she's worked with both children and adults as a counselor and as a magistrate for the state of Delaware. Very interesting background. Now, Mark, he has a PhD in biochemistry. He worked for the DuPont Company for 11 years, and Mark was the co-founder of Arden Films and Video 12 years ago. And Mark and Georgie began working full-time for the company in 1975. Here they are, a winning duo, Mark and Georgie Marquezee. Hi. Hi, Brian. Well, uh, Mark, uh, we're sort of in the same business, Georgie, also. Um, what is art in films and video? Who's going to answer that question? I think I will. Okay, go ahead. Basically, what it is is a production company that produces um, films, videotape, and tape slides. And um, our clientele is made up probably 50% industrial, maybe 25% uh, nonprofit groups like the Cancer Society, that kind of thing, um, League of Women Voters, um, and then maybe 25% ads. Hmm. Uh, you know, maybe some of our viewers weren't aware that you don't have to go to New York or Philadelphia or some of the big m metropolitan areas to get services like that. We're trying to make <laughs> them more aware. Well, hopefully we can help tonight. Now, is media production changing? Yes. Yeah. That's it's becoming a lot more electronic. That's that's film is chemistry, and you know you send film with away your background. By that's right. It's process that takes time. Uh, video is electronic. It's it's immediate, and now with the integration of computers, it's becoming interactive. So there's interactive videotape. There's interactive vid video disc, and uh, digital effects, and so on. So it's it's changing very fast. Mm -hmm. You both have very varied experiences. Do you find that they, you draw on all of these things in your um, work in art and film and video? Yes, very definitely so. Hmm. Well, what do you feel are the greatest strengths of your company? Well, I think um, that, that's a good point. I think our backgrounds kind of uh, help add a lot of strength. I, I feel that my best quality is working with people and kind of pulling the whole thing together. The PR person of the organization? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. And I think Mark's strength is, is in ideas and being able to come across with visualizations of, of abstract concepts, which is mm -hmm. really difficult. Flash by me some, some of your uh, ideas that you have, or have had in the past, or have for future. For projects? Yes. Well, uh, right now we, we're working on a science series, which fits in very well with my background. And uh, this is something that we're, we're uh, self-producing. And um, what it does, basically, is, is not follow the, the kind of NOVA formula, which is, you know, the first scene is in Australia and the last scene is in the South Pole or something like that. It, enormous budgets, a lot of traveling. Uh, I think there's a lot of good programming potential around that takes advantage of people that know what they're talking about. And there are a lot of people like that around here. So you don't have to travel so far, and, and consequently, you don't have to have enormous budgets to make interesting programs. Hmm. Uh, what's the most common pr problem you encounter when you're working on a production? I think the hardest thing, especially in business, because uh, with a documentary project, obviously that's not, not such a, a hard thing, but. The hardest thing is um, trying to visualize an abstract concept. Um, what's an example of that? Uh, uh, so, some kind of a financial thing, you know, we save you money or something, I don't know. Uh, talking for great lengths of time, as often training films, for instance, yes. do, um, about abstract ideas. It's a real hard thing to cover, hmm. and we feel that we... That's kind of a strength, I think. Well, then, uh, who's your best-known client, then? What, what type of people you're working with? Probably our best-known client uh, is Children Television Workshop, uh, Sesame Street. And uh, we've done a number of short films for them. And uh, it's, it's a delight to work on those films because I think since 60 Minutes and the Mike Wallace era, when you go to places with a camera and you're going to... Uh, shoot film, people are very suspicious that you're going to do a number on them. When you go someplace and you say, I'm doing a film for Sesame Street, people <laughs> open their doors and there's no, oh, you know, yeah. it's just, just it's, it's a delight because there's no, 
lack of cooperation. They're and not that's, defensive about it. That's right, no, and that's no. really nice. Well, well you we brought along a short clip um, of one of your work products. Is this for your best known client? Uh, Probably Sesame our Street? best known clients are, are DuPont yes, and okay. uh, maybe McGraw Hill. I uh, think I've heard of those. The yeah. FDA. Mm -hmm. I've heard of the FDA. What, what clip have you brought along today to show The us? one that we brought is from a film that we did for the Humanities Forum on the history of Lewis. And the, the film ends, it's about a 30-minute film, it ends with um, a kind of a lyrical sequence that tries to oh, kind of visually sum up what Lewis is about. Hmm. And it may give you a kind of a feel for the city and for what we do. Well, let's see what the Arden Films does. Take a look at this right now. has directed Lewis's history. As long as the sea remains, the land it touches will be under its influence, and the people who live there will move to its rhythm. I enjoyed that segment. Thank you. The, um, I wanted to make the point that the music in that segment is original music, and a lot of the music that we do for film especially is original. Well, music's a very important part of it and it blends in well. You've done a nice choice. Thank you. What's the most interesting assignment that you've had, if you can pick one? I think probably the, the most interesting assignment that I had was to get a shot of an aardvark. And uh, it turns out an aardvark's a nocturnal animal and uh, this was really hard to do because if it's nocturnal it means it's only up and wa walking around in the dark. And makes photography a little bit tricky. I would imagine. Uh, but we finally managed to get a marvelous shot of an aardvark. Yeah. Well, from aardvarks to zebras, if you want to have something made, come see Arden Films of Video, and they'll do something. You don't have to go to Philly or New York to get uh, something made. Right on. Right on. Okay, <laughs> and now we're going to leave Arden Films.